So, yeah, you get the pleasure of seeing me two days in a row. So let's go ahead and get warmed up. So we're gonna start with our feet wide apart in our chair. If everyone was up late last night like me, we need to waken up a little bit. So let's just take a deep breath in. Blow it out. Let's do that a couple more times. We're going to breathe in. Blow it out. And one more time in. And out. Good. Okay, roll the shoulders back. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now forward. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, so feet are still wide apart, sitting up as tall as you can. Bring those hands in front and really stretch the fingers out and hold one, two, three, four, five. Now squeeze those shoulder blades back. Ooh, feel the stretch and hold. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do that one more time. Stretch the fingers forward, one, two, three, four, five, and then squeeze it back. One, two, three, four, five, and then relax. Okay, hands in front. You're gonna reach down to the floor as far as you can and hold the stretch for five. One, two, three, four, five, up to the ceiling. Get those elbows as straight as you can. One, two, three, four, five, and then hands out really big and stretch. One, two, three, four, five. Hands on the inside of your legs, pull your legs apart. Hold the stretch. One, two, three, four, five. Sit up top. Okay, we're gonna twist behind. You're gonna twist, grab that chair behind you as best you can. Hold that stretch. One, two, three, four, five, and then the other direction. Um, if you want to grab light hand weights, that's always an option. Hold the stretch here. One, two, three, four, five, back in front. Um, okay, we're gonna stretch our legs a little bit and then we'll get going. Bring one leg in front. Heel is hitting the floor, so toes are up. And just lean forward as far as you can feel that stretch behind your knee and hold one two three four five all right other direction get that try to get the heel to hit so toes stay up and lean forward one two three four five back up okay last one take one foot put it on the opposite knee grab that pant leg if you need to Try to pull it up there and hold it. Lean forward. Feel that stretch in the hip. Hold one, two, three, four, five. And then let's do the other side. Up, come forward and hold one, two, three, four, five. Back down. All right, let's reset. Feet are wide apart. We're going to do 10 power up. So hands on your knees up tall. This is really good exercise for our posture. It's going to wake us up this morning. You're going to come forward and power up big one. Not too fast. Two, getting stretched out here. Up three, four five, a big six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, okay. Feet stay wide apart. We're just gonna rock a little bit. Let's just do 10 rocks and then we'll add our arms. So really weight shift over one two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Okay, now we're gonna add the arms. So you're gonna rock and reach as far as you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My chair is squeaky. Nine and ten. Good. Then our twist. All right, hands are So uh, it's good. I haven't had anyone tell me yet that they can't uh, see me full screen. One, so that's good with their iPad. Two, so hopefully that was a glitch with Zoom that's corrected. Three, twist and open. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twist, open big, and 10. All right, last one is our step. So feet are a little bit closer together. We're just stepping it out for 10. Pick that leg up and out as big as you can get it. One, together, two, three, four, five, six, big step, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. All right, so get those feet back wide apart. As I mentioned, if you want, you can, have, you know, use light hand weight soup cans if you want to add a little extra resistance to your workout this morning. Um, I don't think I'm going to today, but feel free to grab that light weight. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our hands in this boxing position, guarding your face, and you're just going to punch forward and pull it back, punch forward, pull it back for 20. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, really straighten that elbow, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Awesome, okay, now we're gonna do our upper cup for 20. So we're exaggerating our big movement. Scoop up, up. So one, big movement. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, upper cut, 18, 19, and 20. All right, so how are we doing? Just getting, getting our blood flowing a little bit, right? We're twisting and hooking. So we're gonna add that twist and hook like we did earlier with our twist, twist and hook for 20. One, two, three, four, five, pivot around, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, twist, 19, and 20. All right, so now we're gonna go into our we speed bag. I know some of you do take rock steady boxing, so imagine you have that speed bag in front of you and your elbows are up. Um, you know, if your shoulders are in, um, limited, you can go down here. Otherwise, try to keep those elbows up. And we're gonna do our speed bag forward for 10 and then backwards for 10. So ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now backwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. I wish I could do speed bag that fast. <laughs> I cannot. All right, and then we're gonna go to our jumping jacks, sitting jumping jacks. If you don't wanna do our sitting jumping jacks, just do that big step to the side. I'm gonna start with 10. Ready, so feet together, and you're gonna go out and in one, two, as big as you can go, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, all right. Feet are a little bit closer together, hip distance, and we're gonna do heel raises with a jump rope. So imagine you're twirling this rope up. If you want, you can do a little lift of your heels. If you want, we're gonna do 10 forward and then 10 back. Ready, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, now 10 backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, all right, bring those feet back apart wide. Up tall, elbows are at your side. We're gonna do elbow punches, taking one elbow and punching behind you so you get a little twist and then the other elbow is going to twist and punch. So think about having a bag behind you and punching and twisting, punching and twisting. So we're going to do 10. So <laughs> up tall, ready, let's go punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. All right. Back to the back to the beginning. Sitting up tall, hands in front, elbows up. Back to our speed bag. All right. Ten forward, ten back. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now backwards. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, feet a little bit closer together, jumping jack. So the first time we did it, arms out big, stick with that, stick with your step, or you're gonna bring your arms up high and then to down, that's another option. Big and down for 10. So you choose where you wanna be, you ready? Let's go, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome, okay, jump rope. So jump rope forward for 10, then back for 10, add the hop if you want. Ready, go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now backwards. One, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Feet back apart wide. And our last one here is our elbow punch. Up tall. Remember, there's a little twist. Try to Twist your body a bit for 10. Ready, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twist and elbow punch nine and 10. Good. All right, so now let's add some leg movement to our punches. So we're gonna kick and punch with the opposite arm and hand. So it doesn't matter which arm or leg you start with, but you're gonna kick and punch opposite hand and leg together for 20. So let's try to start with our nice tall posture. All right, let's go. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Good. Bring those feet back apart. Hands are back up. So now when we do, we're just going to do our punches like that, but we're going to do three different levels, high, medium, low. So it looks like this. You're going to punch up high. You're going to punch forward, medium. You're going to punch low, down and up, down and up. If you have your hand weights, great. If you want to grab them or put them down, you decide. I will. I have my, I keep them handy here. I got my basket of goodies, just my soup cans. Okay, try to stay tall. Here we go, we're gonna start high. We're gonna punch high, high, high. Now medium or in front. <laughs> now low, punch down, punch down. Now punch up, one, two, and then forward, forward, forward. Punch low, down, down, up tall. Back to high, punch high. High, always within your shoulder range of motion and punch low punch low back up tall good posture go again high high punch forward punch forward punch low punch low then up tall. a couple more times high high forward forward punch low punch low again high high forward forward low low and up tall let's do one more last one here we go high high medium medium last time low and up low and up good all right everyone looks good from what i can see we're gonna do a little bit of um maybe it's like a one minute two minute song it's a tabata song so basically i'll say go and you're gonna punch as big and as fast as you can for like 10 seconds then we'll rest for five seconds and we'll do it again i know we we've done this before so we'll do it again if you can't hear the music that's okay i'll just tell you just follow me i'll tell you when to go and when to stop um Okay. Three, two, one, go! Oh. All right, we're gonna punch. So start punching. Go at your pace, go big. Three, two, one, stop! Okay, rest for a second. Breathe. This is where we're gonna start. Stay nice and big in your pot. Go, go. So now we're gonna punch, punch, punch. There you go. Good. Punch, 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 punch. Good. Get those arms moving. And rest. Breathe up tall again. So go big, if you can go fast, try to go fast. Ready, go, punch, punch, good, good. And maybe lean into your punch a little bit, forward, forward, good. And rest, All right. So you get a little break in between. That's good. Two, one, go. Punch, 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 punch. Go, 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 go. go. Keep going. Two, one, and rest. I'm really regretting this sweater right now. <laughs> Not really. It's got lines though. It's good. Three, two, one, and go. And punch, 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 punch. Oh. 
keep going. Two, one. Good. So if you're really looking to get your heart rate up, you want to go big, you want to go fast. Two, one, go. Otherwise, just go as big as you can. Go. Good job. Keep moving. And rest. Breathe. Make sure your feet are still nice and wide. Two, one, and go. Punch. Punch. Good. Keep going. Good job, you got it. And press. All right, almost, we're getting there. <laughs> Two, one, and go, and punch, and punch, and punch, and punch. You got it, go, 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 go. Awesome. So let's just take a deep breath in and blow it out. So before we go into standing, we're going to do um, sit to stand. So I'm going to, if you're able to scoot forward to the edge of the chair, maybe you just do a little rock to get forward or you can do a scoot forward. All right. If you don't want to come to a complete stand, just think about shifting your weight forward and then coming back down. Otherwise, feet are behind your knees. You're going to come forward with the big power up. Let me adjust my screen here. And adjust my chair. Okay, we're going to do 10 in a row. Go at your pace as big as you can safely. Here we go. Forward, power up, one. And then lower yourself down. Forward, up, big, two. Totally cutting my face up. <laughs> Three, forward power up, four, five, six, and then lower yourself down. So power up big seven, and then control descent down. Good. Eight, nine, one more, 10, and down. Good. Okay, we're gonna go to standing next. So you can stay in your chair if you want and modify, or um, go ahead and stand up with me and use your chair for support. So one more big power up. And we'll adjust my screen. And adjust your chair, put it in front of you if you need to. So you have it here for support. Make sure you have room to move. That's what I'm doing, just adjusting my environment here so I can step and not step on anything. All right, so let's do our power move. We're just gonna do 10 reps of our power moves in standing. Um, so just make sure your feet are wider than hip distance, hip distance, step it out. All right, hands in front, just 10 here. So sitting or standing, we're doing our power up, little squat down, big power up, one, two, get our legs warmed up here, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Okay, feet stay wide apart and we're gonna rock. We're shifting our weight. 
Let's just do this without the arms first. One, two, hold on to your chair if you need to. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, now we're gonna add the arms. So you're gonna shift and reach, shift and reach for ten. One, big reach. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Got it? Okay, and our twist. I always like doing these just in the beginning, our basic, basic power moves. These are our basic fundamental moves. Okay, our twist. You're gonna twist, try to look at both hands. Open up big one, twist. Look at your hands and open up big two, twist. Three, four, five, six, twist and open big seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, okay. And then your feet are a little bit closer together and we're gonna do our step. Just make sure you have room to step side to side. We'll start with 10. So whatever foot you wanna start with, we're gonna take a big step to the side, back to the center one, other direction. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, step, nine, and ten. Good. Okay. Now we're going to move into, I call it like multi directional stepping. We've done this before for those of you that join me. Um, just stepping in different directions. So standing with your feet about hip distance. Uh, let's start with your left, left foot. Yeah. You're gonna step forward, back to the center. Then you're gonna step to your left. So a side step, back to the center. And then you're gonna step behind and forward. So it's forward to the side and back. We're gonna do that with each leg. If you're sitting, if you're sitting, take one leg forward to the side, behind. So. <laughs> Hopefully you can just modify it in sitting a little bit, right? Okay, let's start with your left leg. Here we go. Step forward, back to the center, to the side, center, step back. Center, other foot, forward, together, side, together, back, together. Again, left foot, forward, together, side together back together switch feet forward together side together back together again left foot forward together side together back together last time the other side big step forward together, side, together, back, together. Good. We're gonna do just the backward step. I'm gonna turn so you can see what I'm doing. I'll hold on to my chair. So I have my chair here to adjust that so you can see my feet a little bit more. You're stepping back, shifting your weight back, Trying to get that other foot to the toe to pop up a bit and then stepping forward. Other foot steps back. Shift your weight back. Try to get that toe to pop up if you can. Then step forward. All right. Hold on to the chair if you need it for balance. All right. Otherwise, we're going to let go of the chair. You decide. Let's start with 10. Ready? Let's step back. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right, we may revisit that again tomorrow. We're working on balance tomorrow, so <laughs> it's a good precursor. Okay, good. So what we're gonna do next is just a little bit of our circuit. <laughs> um, we have five exercises, just 30 seconds of each exercise and we'll repeat that. So if you want, you can grab your weights if you want to. Um, um, and then, I'll show modification. So the first one we're doing, you know, our boxing theme, feet are wide apart. You guys are very familiar with this one. It's our squat punch. You guys remember this one, right? <laughs> so that's our first one. Our second one, our hands to opposite knee, hands to opposite knee like this, okay? Um, our third one is jump rope. And if you want to add a hop, you can. Our fourth is a squat and a twist and a jab. So it's a squat, twist, jab, squat, twist, jab. And our last one is a lunge forward with the punch. Okay, so in the chair, modify punch, hand opposite knee, jump rope, twist, punch, twist, punch. And then your lunge is just gonna be a kick like we did earlier. Okay, that's your modifications in the chair. Now it's remembering them, right? Oh, okay, let me get my timer though. So I can keep track, because we just are gonna do um, 30 seconds. So it's about nine minutes total, not quite. So we, we can do this. All right. Um, And I got my music on. All right, so squat punch, sitting or standing, and let's go. Ready? I was trying to pick music like winning and champions. <laughs> squat punch. punch. Good. Ten seconds. Keep going. Four, three, two, and one. Whew. All right. Here's our next one. This is our next one. Or just tap. Let's get ready. All right. Four, three. Two, one, let's go. Tap, 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 tap. Keep going. Good. Ten seconds. Sitting or standing. Just heel raises. All right, are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. You don't have to jump if you don't want to. Jump rope in.
Ten seconds. Whew. Three, two, one. All right, here's our last one. It's a lunge with a punch. Lunge with a punch. So if you're sitting, kick and punch, kick and punch. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Good. Step forward and punch. Step forward and punch. Awesome, keep going. Good. 10 seconds. Five. Four, three, two, and one. All right, back to the beginning. Here's our first one. Now, if you're feeling good, add a little speed to it. You decide. Or just do the punch and standing. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. You decide your pace, just go as big as you can. Good. Fast. <laughs> Ten seconds. Whew. Four, three, two, one. Ooh, I'm getting warm. That's good. All right, this is our next one, sitting or standing. Tap, tap. If you don't want to lift your legs up, just tap up big. Tap up big. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Tap, keep those feet wide. play this kind of music, but hey, if it gets you motivated. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, this is our third one. It's our jump rope. So just the heel raise like this. Actually, we're going to go backwards. We did four. Let's go backwards. Add the hop if you want to. We're going to add a Backwards jump, three, two, one. You don't have to add the hop. Stick with the stick with the heel raise if you want. Whew. Good job. Keep swirling, swirling those arms. Ten seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one. Whew. All right. Breathe. Here's our fourth one. Squat, turn, and punch. Squat, turn, and punch, or just the turn and punch. Sitting or seat. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Punch. punch again you can just do the punch if you want if you're sitting you're kicking and punching so ready let's go forward back forward back good Oh, 
Job. Whew, I'm definitely warm now. Hopefully you guys are warm as well. Grab a drink of water. Breathe. I kind of worked out outside in my garage today. Just kidding. I would not do that. Um, okay, so at this point, we're going to go ahead and get down on the floor. We're going to start on our stomach. So if you don't want to get on, the st on your stomach, you can stay in standing. Or sit in the chair the first thing we're going to do on our stomach is our power up so if you're standing when we do our stomach power up you're going to do a standing power up if you're sitting when we do our stomach power up you're just going to come forward and then push yourself up tall like this and sitting so all right let me give you all some time to get down on the floor on your stomach can see me okay okay use your chair for support to get down on the floor all right hands and knees and then um i should mention too if you need a pillow if you have some back issues you can always grab a pillow and put it under your hips for support Sometimes that helps you have some back issues if you want to do that. Okay, sitting, standing, or on your stomach. Forearms are underneath you. If you can, think about pushing those toes into the floor and your elbows are underneath your shoulders, hopefully right as best you can. And you're gonna let your chest come down and then you're gonna power up. Look straight ahead, work on that posture and then back down, that's one. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten good all right if you're on the floor try to stay in, in this powered up position so your forearms are underneath here um if it's too if it's too hard then go ahead you can come down and rest for a second and then come back up um, and then in this position you're just going to rock side to side so sitting or standing do your rock weight shift Side to side. We're weight shifting on our forearms. If you're sitting, you're going to weight shift from one hip to the other hip. Excellent. I see you doing it. This is good. All right. So stay here, or you're going to add that big reach across your body. Weight shift and reach across like this. Let's count to 10. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Okay, so from here, we're going to do just a few different twists. So if you're on your forearms here um, and propped up, you're going to start with your right arm, and I'll show modifications today in a second. And you're going to try to slide it under your left arm like this and just roll to your side and then pull that arm back out and put it underneath you. And then the other hand is gonna go under and you're gonna roll to your side, pull it back out and then put it underneath you. So if you're on, the stu on your stomach, you wanna try that, go ahead and try that. If you're sitting, you're just gonna twist under your leg, then reach up big, excellent. And then you're gonna twist under the other leg and reach up big if you're sitting all right um and if you're on your stomach and you're able to try that great 
we're going to do a couple of those just two each side so um here we go to take one arm put it under the other arm and roll over to your side pull it out bring that arm back underneath you other direction twist under go to your side pull out back underneath you good okay one more time each side twist under pull it out back underneath you and the other one twist under roll to your side pull it out and back underneath you good excellent that's i think that's a little bit more challenging um but it's a good skill to practice um especially for rolling over in bed so from here we're gonna have i'm gonna have you roll all the way to your side so once you get all the way to your side you're gonna stack your knees on top of each other stack your hands on top of each other sure you have room and you're going to take that top hand you're just going to stretch back as far as you can go all right and then you're going to bring your hands together and we'll do 10 of those on each side so if you're sitting we're going to bring your hands in front like this and you're just going to reach back behind you as far as you can go and then bring those hands together okay so floor sitting you're going to do 10 on each side if you're sitting and then when we roll the other side we'll do 10 on the other side you guys probably started already you're ahead of me so here we go take that hand reach back as far as you can go bring those hands together one back together two stretch it back bring them together three so keep going take that top hand bring it back as far as you can four i think that was four right five six seven good big stretch back together eight nine last one together 10. All right, if you're on the floor, roll to the other side. I'm going to give you all a second to get to the other side. If you're sitting, we're just going to switch sides. So if you're sitting, your other hand's going to reach back and then come together. And we're going to do that 10 times. So. All right. On your side, knees are stacked. Here we go. Take that top hand. Reach back as far as you can go and bring those hands together. All right, now can you follow that hand all the way back with your eyes and then follow that hand back to your hand? That's two. Reach back together, three. Follow that hand with your eyes all the way back and then together, four, five reach back together six seven follow that hand with your eyes eight nine last one and ten awesome okay if you're on the floor go roll back to your stomach we're oh gonna and do a few more here on your stomach if you're on the floor. I just want to switch positions here. So I'll give you all a few seconds to get back on your stomach. This is probably the least favorite position for a lot of people, but it's such a great position to get into because it stretches all these muscles in the in the front um, of your body, all the muscles that typically get tight, the hip flexors. Um, so we're going to, your forearms are underneath, we're going to step with your forearms. One forearm is going to step away, come back underneath you. The other forearm steps out and underneath you. If you're sitting, we're, this is just, oops, tripped out. <laughs> if you're sitting, just do your step out like this. We, we're going to do a forearm step and you're going to do a foot step. Just 10 here. Okay. <laughs> 
push those toes into the floor, spread those feet apart, forms are underneath you, let's step it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. If you're on the floor, keep those toes pushed into the into the floor. Um, maybe bring your feet a little bit closer together. If you're sitting, you're going to repeat the same thing you just did. Just repeat what you did. If you're on the floor, you're going to take one foot, step it away from you, bring it back together. Other foot steps out and in. All right, we're going to do 10 again. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. And breathe. All right. If you're on the floor, push yourself up to your hands and knees. Just rock back. Let your head drop and stretch that back out a bit. So let's hold the stretch. One, two, three, four five go ahead and come forward to your hands and knees walk your hands back come up to your hands and knees sitting or standing put your hands on your hips and just lean back stretching the front of your thighs here and hold this stretch one two three four and five good all right Carefully stand up. We're going to go back to the chair. Give everyone a second to get back in your chair. How's everyone doing? Looking good. All right. All right, we're going to finish with some stretches in our chair. Definitely got warm. <laughs> so feet are wide apart. Little posture check here. Up tall, head forward. All right, good. All right, everyone's in the chair, it looks like. So let's just look up towards the ceiling and hold this neck stretch. One, two, three, four, five. Now look down to the floor. One, two, three, four, five. Look straight ahead. Turn and look over your shoulder as far as you can. Find something you can spot on the wall or look out your window. Find, do, what do you see? Like look, look for an object and hold one two three four five and straight ahead let's go the other direction turn your head as far as you can what do you see on your wall or out the window find that object and let's hold one two three four five and then straight ahead all right good arms to your side ready just going to roll those shoulders back just backwards five times one two three four five okay now let's add our big arm circles back forward and back as big as your arms can get nice and easy one two stretch it out three four and five Okay, bring those hands in front, clasp those hands together, and just push your hands forward so you get a stretch in your upper back and your shoulders. And if you can, let your head drop in between your shoulders and hold for five. One, two, three, four, five. Lift that head up, turn your hands inside out. Let's stretch those fingers out. Let's hold it here. One two three four 
five, relax those arms down. Now you're gonna clasp your hands behind your back. So clasp those hands together, push your hands down and back. Now, if you have shoulder issues, you can just do it in front. So down and back, stick that chest out. Let's hold the stretch for five. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. All right, hands back in front here. Make a fist. We were doing boxing, so we were holding weights or having our hands in this closed position. So now we wanna flick them open. We're gonna end with big fingers here. So bring it back and then forward and big flick forward, stretch the fingers out. Let's do that for 10. Flick one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, big flick, eight, nine, and 10. And breathe. All right, let's take a couple deep breaths. We'll call it a day. Ready? Breathe in. Blow it out through your mouth. One more time, deep breath in. And out. Good. Good job, you guys. So it is Monday. Thanks for joining me. Um, Katie,